Welcome to one of my favorite cities in the entire world. Today, I'm in New Orleans. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you probably know I'm a fan of the New Orleans Pelicans. If you've been watching the channel for a long time, you probably know why. Today is also the last day of Halloween part one, and I have barely, barely played um, at all. So today, I need to make progress on the special research. I need to make progress on the timed research that's paid for before <laughs> I run out of time. But the reason that I've barely played is because the purpose of this trip was to watch basketball and eat. And that's all we've done. So speaking of eating, we just finished lunch at Turkey and the Wolf, which happens to be two blocks from my old apartment here in New Orleans. So today we're gonna play the Halloween event and I'm gonna take you on a tour of my old neighborhood. Oh, this, this right here is my old apartment. Eight years ago, I lived here. Good to know if Pokemon Go had been out, I would have been able to reach at least two Pokestops, which is nice. But yeah, I used to live right there. I used to sit on that balcony and occasionally on weekends, a whole second line would come pouring out of the church down the street. But while we're here, let's get started on this timed research which ends in five days and 18 hours. So if you have paid for the timed research or if someone gifted it to you, make sure you finish this because otherwise that money's going to waste. So I've got at least four more Yamask shiny checks here. Nope. How about this one? Nope. This one? Nope. This one? Nope. This one? Nope. Oh, and if I catch two more ghost types, I can get that last one. Nailed it. Let's check. This one, no. All right, part 202. Another 30 ghost type Pokemon. We'll, we'll check back on that later. Let's go for a walk. So this is Magazine Street. My old apartment was just a block south of here. So I'd walk down the street all the time eat food at all these restaurants, including this right here, which used to be a po'boy shop where I would go get sandwiches all the time. It's now Molly's Rise and Shine, which is also delicious. We had breakfast there the other day. But while we're stopped here, I'm gonna claim uh, part one of this other Halloween timed research. This is the $5 research. But like I said, this trip for me has been all about basketball and food, and I've barely touched Pokemon Go. So I don't even know what this research gives as rewards, aside from I think there's a Spiritomb in here. Number two is Joltik. Why, does anyone else's game just like lag every time they claim a research reward? Next Pokemon reward for this part is Dupiter. Is Halloween about bugs? What? And the final reward for part one of four is more lag. Yep, Ariados. What? Spy I guess spiders. Oh, I get it. Spiders. Spiders and Halloween, clever. So I'm standing outside of Lafayette Cemetery, which is one of New Orleans' many uh, above ground cemeteries. Since I don't have any flowers with me, I'm gonna do the next best thing here. We'll leave a shiny Roselia in the gym here. And then respectfully, this is where I'll do my next set of Yamask shiny checks. <sighs> oh, they're Galarian this time. Wow, that confused me. I actually thought I had a shiny for a second. Um, but the reason that cemeteries in New Orleans are above ground is because most of the city is actually below sea level. You're below the water table here. So what early settlers discovered very quickly is that if you bury something in the ground, like a person, <laughs> I was just trying to spit some historical facts here, but okay, shiny Galarian, you mask, I, Love it. And actually, 
a pine app, it's research, it's not gonna run away. <laughs> so like I was saying, if you bury people, coffins, below ground and you're below the water level, below sea level, the water pushes those things up out of the ground and that's, I think that's how you get zombies. So that's why, that's why, that's why there's uh, above ground cemeteries in New Orleans. You can't, you can't bury people in the ground because they won't stay there. Wow, what a nice little souvenir. All right, let's just speed through the rest of these checks then. Nope, nope, uh, nope, nope. Okay, and wait, am I done? Oh, I'm done. I'm done with the $1 research. $5 research, still need to walk another kilometer to move on to the next step. Also, can't forget to spin these Pokestops. <sighs> Gotta get some gifts to send. I got my two kilometers walked. Um, you know, another thing about New Orleans being below sea level. Oh God, I see that. Oh, I don't want it. I don't want bats. I'm done with bats. Oh God, it's all bats, isn't it? Ah, <sighs> zoo bat, woo bat, let me guess, noi bat. Oh, Gligar. Is Gligar a bat too? Well, now I don't like Gligar anymore. If you don't know what I'm talking about, by the way, just check my Twitter. It's, it's been a week. All right, and then the last Pokemon for this step, is it Noibat or like Gliscor or something? Whatever it is, I bet I'm not gonna like it. Oh. Check this Pokestop out. Kids playing in the water sculpture at Nick's house, apparently. That's my house. No, I'm just kidding. I definitely um, could not afford to live in the Garden District. But one thing that I really like about this area and, and about the city in general is that there's so much history preserved here. Like a lot of these Pokestops in the Garden District are historical plaques about these houses that say when they were built, who lived there. Um, and it's just really nice to see, oh, Pokestops up. It's just really nice to see that history preserved. And it's not just here, it's like the entire city, but that history and that culture is something that I really fell in love with when I lived here. I was here for two years and there's no place on earth like New Orleans. It just has such a rich mix of cultures. Being right here at the mouth of the Mississippi River, it was at one point the biggest port in history. It was settled, colonized by the French, the Spanish. There's uh, mixes of cultures of people who were brought over as slaves from Africa, Caribbean culture, indigenous cultures. And throughout history, all of that just kind of mixed together to create this really, really unique place that people are really proud of living in. And something that kind of bums me out about it is that the future of the city is kind of uncertain. You know, like I said earlier, most of the city is below water level. To the north, you have Lake Pontchartrain. Around the east, west, south, you have the Mississippi River. And as sea level continues to rise, the coastline, the wetlands are degrading. There's less protection uh, against hurricanes for the city. And every time some big natural disaster happens, Katrina, um, floods, hurricanes that have happened since then, less and less people come back to the city. And as all these environmental factors kind of add up, it's really unclear how long people will actually be able to keep coming back. We've got a dinner reservation coming up, so we're gonna hop on the streetcar head back towards the hotel. And while I'm sitting on here, I'm gonna pop the daily incense. See what's, see what's going on. Ultimately, not a very uh, exciting incense. Didn't catch everything. But that route that I kind of just took you on is basically what I used to do when I lived here. I would walk from my apartment up through the Garden District, hop on the streetcar, come downtown, and go to the Smoothing King Center to watch Pelicans games. Oh, I got a 7K. This is my first, this is my first egg of the entire event. Cool, not a bat. I'm kind of glad. So I guess to finish the story, 
that I started at the very beginning of the video, that's how I became a Pelicans fan. I've always been a basketball fan, but growing up in LA, I was never really a Lakers fan because that's what was expected of you and I can never do what's expected of me. But once I moved here to New Orleans, uh, the Pelicans weren't a very good team. So I would get tickets for like $6 the night of the game. And like I said, just hop on the streetcar, come down to Smoothie King Center and watch a game because it was so cheap. And living here, I just kind of adopted them as my team. So ever since then, I've been a fan. And this, this season, man, I'm excited about this season. It's gonna be a good one. So to close it out today, I guess, uh, we'll, we'll get a little bit through step three or four and check out the rewards. Lit Litton, what is this, cats? Cause like, black cats? And you know, I feel like I ended uh, our little chat earlier on too much of a David Attenborough dire warning uh, note. I feel like uh, the spirit of this city of New Orleans is just so resilient. Like people are willing every time to come back and rebuild and I love that and I think it's something that should absolutely be done um, it's a city worth preserving you know it just kind of turns out that the Mississippi River Delta is a terrible place for a million people to live but they didn't know that at the time when they started so I guess um, to summarize it come visit New Orleans if you get the chance I'll leave it at that hope you enjoyed this one watch this video right here if you uh, missed the Zorua fiasco. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.